Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. In today's video I'm going to be giving you an audio demonstration and full review of the new Rode VideoMic NTG. Now if you produce videos, if you're a content creator, a big part of your productions is audio quality. With bad audio quality your video is going to suck. So this microphone is highly directional and it's going to improve the audio quality no end from your camera. Now it works with any camera with a three and a half millimeter audio input, but it also works with your computer as well. We'll come on to that a little bit later on. Now in regards to the audio demonstration, the audio you're currently hearing is from this lapel mic. This is a Rode SmartLav Plus and it's plugged in directly to my camera, which is sitting about two feet away from me. Now for a quick audio comparison, you're currently hearing audio recorded directly in the internal microphones in my Sony video camera. So now the audio you're hearing is being recorded with the Rode VideoMic NTG. And indeed, the rest of the audio for this video is going to be recorded with the new Rode microphone. Now this is connected to my camera via the 3.5mm output on the mic and then that goes directly into the 3.5mm input on your camera. And the output on the microphone is very clever. Indeed it is an auto sensing 3.5mm output which intelligently switches between TRS and TRRS and that accommodates both cameras and mobile devices so no adapter cables are needed and you can use this with your smartphone as well now this is a rechargeable microphone so inside the box you get the mic itself it's also got a nice foam windshield and a really good integrated shock mount and this connects to the cold shoe on the top of your camera now it recharges via USB. You do of course get the USB cable inside the box. It's a USB A to USB C cable. Now not only do you use this to charge the internal battery on the microphone, but you can also use this cable to connect the Rode VideoMic NTG to your computer. Yes, you can use it as a USB mic. And whilst you're using it as a USB mic, you can also uh, connect a pair of headphones to that three and a half millimeter output on the microphone and monitor your audio. That is a fantastic feature. Now also inside the box you do of course get a quick start guide. It's a pictorial guide and guides you through all of the settings on the microphone. And let's run through some of those settings and some of the features. So the Rode VideoMic NTG is a highly directional super cardioid polar pattern flat frequency response mic and it's got a very low self noise so the noise floor on this is extremely low indeed so that means when you've got quiet periods during your video the noise floor is not going to contain too much hiss. It's got a really good acoustic design similar to Rode's NTG5 broadcast shotgun mic. It's a very natural sound, very transparent and it's got a, a really good uh, sort of frequency response. I do love the tonal quality of this microphone. Now I already mentioned the auto sensing three and a half millimeter output on the side of the microphone. So this allows you to connect this either to a camera or indeed to a smartphone without having to use adapters. The USB-C output allows you to not only charge the microphone but also connect it to your computer. We've got a DB or decibel peak warning light on the microphone. And there's also some digital switching which controls a two stage high pass filter, minus 20 dp pad, also high frequency boost, and a safety channel which records a second track at minus 20 dp in case the main channel has any clipping. There's an auto power function which automatically switches the power on and off on the microphone when you actually turn your camera on and off or when the mic is unplugged. Now the microphone has a built-in lithium ion battery and that lasts for around about 30 hours which is plenty for a mic of this type. In fact, it's very good indeed. Now before I move on to my opinion about the audio quality, there's a couple of things I wish this microphone did have. First of all, a front facing LED light somewhere to show me that the microphone is indeed turned on. I can't see if the mic's turned on. I'm relying on my audio meters. But if my camera didn't have that, or if my camera didn't have a front facing screen, I wouldn't know that the microphone was turned on or off. I also wish that it had some sort of battery level indicator. 
Now there is an LED that changes color when the battery is running low, but I would have liked three or four tiny little LEDs and I could push a button and just see how much battery is left inside the microphone. Now in regards to the audio quality, I think it's very good indeed. This is a very directional microphone, packed full of features, and it delivers a really nice rich tonal quality. Audio is a big part of any video production, and it's essential that you get it right. And adding something like this to the top of your camera makes for a very versatile setup. Now, of course, you don't have to have the microphone on top of your camera. You could get an extension cable and have it maybe above you, for example, if you're recording in a studio situation. But putting it on top of your camera for run and gun videos and when you're out in the field, I think it is a really good choice. It should definitely be on your shortlist if you're looking to improve the audio quality in your videos. So this is the Rode VideoMic NTG. I've left links to where you can pick this up down in the video description. Also a link down there to the Rode website. They sell a whole range of uh, different microphones and accessories that are going to help you make your videos better. Thanks very much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you've got any comments or questions, please do pop them in the comments section below. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll see you in another video very soon.